Hey, hey, what's up, guys? I just did a uh, a training session with someone I've been working with for a few months. We had a really interesting conversation I wanted to share with you. So a lot of times what people do in regards to healing the body, building muscle, losing fat, moving better, getting, getting out of pain, etc., is... Okay, what's like the right way to do it? I want to go talk to this expert. I want to I want to find this scientific study. I want to find the 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 right way, the quote unquote right way to do it. And the thing about that is that's not always the most effective way. Right? Like if you want to feel like I'm doing it right, like, you know, I'm a good little boy. I did it right or good little girl whatever, like give me my gold star. <laughs> as opposed to, well, what's actually gonna work the best for me and what's gonna maximize the benefits that I'm receiving and minimize the risk that's happening in, in regards to you know injury. So we're talking about fitness in regards to injury, right? Um, what, what's gonna be an energizing way of using the body as, as opposed to a way that's depleting me, right? So it's funny I said right there. <laughs> um, if you give yourself permission to experiment a little bit and, and try things new, hey, does this work better? Does that work better? Like, you know, biomechanically, you can change the angle, obviously, that your arms are at, that your, you know, elbows at. So let, let's just say, for example, if I wanted to do a bicep activation, okay? So right there, I'm a little tired, so I'm not really fully kind of getting it right now. But if I relax my shoulder and my elbow, right? In that position right there, I get a better activation than than there. And that might seem like kind of subtle and like, who cares? Like, what's the difference? But the thing is, is that if you get a little bit better activation there, you're going to get a lot better results if you if you end up doing that over the course of six months, a year, five years, 10 years, right? Your bones are probably going to be denser 20 years from now if you're getting a little bit better muscle activation, literally. You know, your quality of life is going to be better five, 10 years from now and, and, and even a month from now, even tomorrow, potentially. So anyways, the point is, how can I get the best muscle activation in this context and therefore have a better hormonal effect and therefore have more energy? and therefore build more of a connected kind of muscle. So it's not just about like bigger, 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 more, more, more in terms of like more muscles, better, bigger is better. It's about how much neurological connection is there. You know, do you have the ability to activate your muscles, you know, when you want to and when you need to, not just how big they are. Right. So yeah, just, just experimenting and finding, okay, what, what's, What's the correct way to do it? What's the external source of authority saying about what's, you know, right, the right way of doing it versus what's actually going to work the best for me and what feels the best. And when you're what what's interesting is that if we move away from the no pain, no gain thing and we just go into, you know what, my body is wired to give me positive feedback. In other words, when I'm doing something that's going to benefit me, it's going to feel good or there's going to be positive sensation, right? As long as we're not dealing with a distortion, there's going to be a positive sensation. Okay, so pain, to me, is a signal from the body saying stop, like there's harm being caused here, right. And sometimes that's unavoidable. And, and sometimes it just happens, right. But it's really a clear signal that that, you know, to move a different direction, essentially. So discomfort is something different. If there's aching, burning, you know, whatever other kinds of sensations that are uncomfortable, that's, that's, that's something different, right? But, but pain to me is, is a signal that, okay, there's actually harm being caused here. So no pain, no gain is the inverse of what's going to get you the best results long term. It's the other direction. If you're doing something and it feels right, <laughs> a different kind of right than I mentioned earlier, but it feels like, oh, this is nice. Like I'm enjoying this. This feels good. I want to do more of this, right? I'm, I'm getting, getting energy from it as opposed to it, like draining my energy that might be a path that you may want to take because in my experience, that's going to give you way better results long-term, not only because you'll enjoy it and want to do it more, but also because again, your body is wired to encourage you to do things that are going to benefit you. Okay. And, let, and there's a whole thing there with, with distortions and addictions and stuff like that. I won't get into right now, but, but just, you know, in general, listen to your body, feel what's a yes and feel what's a no. 